the evening everybody. We'll give her a few seconds before we start chit-chatting away. on Monday. Can't complain. Well, you can, but, you know, whatever. There's probably a cliche for that. <coughs> Pardon me. Anyways, let's get into it. Hope you're all doing well. This is Justin here for Bucket List Entertainment, coming to you with another episode of Peaked in High School. Uh, tonight, as chosen by all of you on our Facebook and our Instagram polls, we're going to take a look at the Starting Lines 2002 album, Say It Like You Mean It. Uh, before we get into things, a quick reminder, this is a live show. If you have any questions or comments throughout, let her rip, and I will try to address them. Um, if you're not familiar, the Starting Line are a pop-punk band from Philadelphia, formed in 1999. Uh, Say It Like You Mean It is the first of... Three total full lengths. Uh, in 2002, you had Based on a True Story. And in 2000... Or, sorry, 2005, you had Based on a True Story. 2007, you had the album Direction. Uh, the band had a pretty shitty run and got screwed over a good number of times by the general music industry. <coughs> Excuse me. If uh, you're looking to have a bummer evening... There's a documentary they put out called Somebody's Gonna Miss Us that kind of goes into great detail on that. And they can tell it a lot better than I can, so I'll leave that to them. Uh, with that, we've got the preamble ramble out of the way. I think it's time we start this thing. If it'll play. It's working on it. Now we're cooking. <laughs> we start off on a pretty posy note um, with the song Up and Go. It's far from the most ambitious song the band has put out, even on this album. Um, but it is just a really good, like a textbook example of an early 2000s pop punk song. Uh, the vocals are, well, it's going to be a theme throughout. The vocals are catchy as hell. Um, the instrumentation packs a bit of a punch. It doesn't get too flashy at any point. I mean, when it comes down to it, it's just a good pop rock song. It's hard to argue with that. Moving along. We got given the chance. I don't have a lot to say about the music on the song given the chance, uh, but I do have a bone to pick with the lyrical content. Having previously played in pop-punk bands that write songs about being in bands, I can definitively say <coughs> excuse me, that bands writing songs about being in bands was never cool. Um, that's a whole you know, rant in and of itself, so I think we better move past that before it gets too far off the rails. coming in with the posy hearts. Thanks, buddy. Um, leaving was kind of a surprising one. I thought for sure 
I knew it better than I did. Obviously, you'd have to be heartless not to belt along with the Please don't leave me. Um, but there's really nothing else of note with this song. Uh, musically, in just these first few songs, they're already, you know, nothing we haven't heard already. Uh, lyrically, after the first 20 seconds of that chorus, you've heard more or less the entire thing. Uh, anyway, moving along. Uh, the Best of Me is likely one of the first things that comes to mind for a lot of people when you think of the starting line. <coughs> Dying here, don't mind me. Uh, it's another banging pop punk song, which, I mean, is par for the course at this point. Uh, what's weird about it, and what I think makes it so memorable, is the fact that the chorus almost doesn't work. Uh, hearing Kenny try to cram the tell me what you thought about one into each chorus is an interesting feat in and of itself, and I think that's part of what makes the song stand out from the crowd. Uh, cruising through a few of these because time is of the essence. Uh, a good night's sleep. I don't have a lot to say, but this is another... Thank you to any higher power that prevented me from having money when I was 17 because I would have gotten, I'll get this here, I won't sleep a wink to prevent dreaming of you tattooed somewhere on my torso, so I'm glad I don't have that going on. Well, maybe I do, you don't know. Moving along. There are a lot of, I guess, like songs on Say It Like You Mean It. Um, but there are also a few that dip their toes into weirder water, cheek to cheek being one of them. Uh, it's probably as close as, <coughs> excuse me, the band gets to like a post-hardcore song. Um, cheek to Cheek also crops up kind of right in the middle of the album. Uh, which is a very cool reminder that the starting line have more than just the few tricks up their sleeve. Um, to contradict that last point a bit, uh, Hello Houston, Decisions, Decisions, Saddest Girl Story, and Left Coast Envy. Again, they're all very good pop punk songs, but they they those four really bleed together, especially at this point in the album. Um, can't say they're bad songs, but I will say it's hard to pick them out of a lineup. Cruising right along though, we get even wimpier. It's okay. At least I thought we did. The acoustic guitar makes another appearance of this second to last song. Uh, it, the drama summer is one of very, very few examples of pretty good acoustic pop punk. Um, having said that, the song does feel a little bit out of place considering there's another full band song that closes out the album. <laughs> but on its own, catchy. Not, I don't know, so many bad punk acoustic songs I've heard in my days, and this is not one of them. So thank you for that. Let's wrap this up, though. This ride... 
closes out, say it like you mean it. Uh, it's another heavier track. It even includes some screamo, as we just heard. Um, not the strongest closer, if I'm being honest. Um, listening to this song on my first uh, re-listen, I kind of remembered it. Three or four times in, I still kind of remembered it. Um, I don't know. It's, it's far from a bad song, but it's very not notable, especially as a closer. By doing an album I actually like, I am. It doesn't happen often. But, you know, gotta like something, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, that's Say It Like You Mean It. Um, yeah, I'm no mathematician. I'll be the first to admit it, but I will say that at least... 60% of this album gets the hair gel flowing. Uh, there's a few duds for sure, uh, but generally speaking, this is a really good example of like an early 2000s pop punk album. Um, so good for them. They earned it. Uh, I'm going to start wrapping this thing up. So if you have any questions or comments, get them in here now. As far as other stuff that came out in the year 2002, uh, Newfound Glory put out Sticks and Stones, Meshuga put out the album Nothing, and Death From Above 1979 put out Heads Up. Uh, as far as some more recent stuff goes, uh, these first two are a couple years old now. Ways Away, their self-titled album. I've been listening to again a lot. Uh, Noah James has an album called Granny Said that came out, I think, three years ago now. And as far as something I just heard last week, a band called Lawrence has an album called Hotel TV that is just pretty dreamy. If, if you feel like being happy. Um, yeah. Thanks again to everyone who's tuned in. If you're watching this after the fact, thank you as well. <coughs> Pardon me before I cough up anymore. Um, a quick bit of housekeeping. Two weeks from today, what's that? October the 11th will be the season finale of Peaked in High School. Uh, we're putting the show on hold for a little bit. Uh, so I can work on some other bucket list entertainment entertainment. Um, so I will, yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. You know, we'll put a vote out. It'll be the same as usual. Uh, in terms of new entertainment news, uh, we got a new show coming for you. Long time bucket list contributor Chris Aitkins has a new show called Get the Punks. It comes out, the first episode is actually next Monday, a week from today. It's a show about scary movies and loud, loud, noisy music. Uh, so tune into that. The first episode is him with special guest Lizard Queen herself, uh, Bucket List's own Liz Imperiali. Uh, yeah, in the meantime, Social medias are the same as always, at Bucket List Entertainment on most stuff. Bucket List TV on YouTube. You can follow me at Justin Does Words. Uh, I'll be letting you know... <coughs> excuse me. Letting you know what happens new show-wise on my end, and I'll be plugging the rest of the content from the site as well. Uh, before I just sort of mumble completely off the rails, thanks again. Hope you have a good night. Stay safe. Uh, yeah, see ya.